Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and I'm here with a quick video for you. It's showing you how to make the stitch that I used in the color block blanket that I just put live on the blog. I honestly don't even know the name for this stitch, but it's a fun stitch to do. It works up quickly and I think it gives a really nice texture. All right, so as you can see, I'm not showing you how to make the full size blanket and I'm not starting on the foundation row. The reason is it's very self-explanatory. I've given you the instructions for the foundation row and the multiples on my website, but I just wanted to be sure that each subsequent row after the foundation isn't confusing when you're first starting out. It's one of those stitch patterns that looks a little bit more complicated on paper or on a website than it really is. So I just wanted to start um, from here and get you going in the right direction, okay? So whether you're working on your second row or your 52nd row, it's going to be the exact same way. So after you've worked your foundation row, follow these steps and you'll be on your way to making this blanket, okay? So I'm gonna do my best to keep this work in a um, spot where you can see it well. And if you have any questions, send me an email at lauren at daisycottagedesigns.net or you can comment on the blog or go to the Facebook page and leave me a question or just comment on this video. So contact me in any of those ways and I will try to get back with you. Okay, so you've got your swatch or you've got your foundation row done. And then to keep going, we're going to chain three. All right, so we're going to chain three and turn our work. And then as you can see across, we have chain one spaces all the way across. So we're gonna be working into those chain spaces and not underneath the loops of the stitches from the previous row like you often do in crochet. So we're gonna start with a double crochet, two together, or a double crochet decrease. And we're going to be double crocheting these two chain one spaces together. So that might sound a little bit complicated, but it's not, I promise. So let's get going. So the first step is to yarn over and insert your hook into the first chain one space and pull up a loop. Then we're going to pull through the first two loops on our hook. And if we were going to complete a double crochet, we would pull through those remaining two stitches, but we're going to double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over again and insert our hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. So now you should have four loops on your hook and you're going to pull through the first two loops and now there should be three loops on your hook and you're going to pull through the remaining three loops. Okay? So you've just finished your first double crochet decrease stitch and now you're going to chain one and we're going to insert our hook, we'll yarn over and insert our hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. We're going to pull through the first two loops on our hook. And then instead of finishing, we're gonna yarn over and insert the hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook, then pull through the remaining three loops on the hook. So now you've completed your second double crochet two together or double crochet decrease. Now make sure you chain one in between each of these decrease stitches. So we just finished our double crochet two together here. And now we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook and then pull through the remaining three loops. And don't forget to chain one between all of these decrease stitches. So we have three double crochet decreases. We've got one here, one here, and one here. And if you look, you'll see that you're starting a double crochet de well, let me rephrase that. You're finishing a double crochet decrease and beginning a double crochet decrease in the same stitch. So you should have one finishing and one beginning in each chain one space. And then you should separate those with a chain one. I don't know if that makes sense, but it helped me to make sure I was on the right track when I was first starting to make sure that I had one double crochet decrease finishing, chain one, and then starting my double crochet decrease in the same chain one space. Okay, so we've just finished one in this stitch. Now we need to chain one, which we did, and now we need to start one in the same stitch. So to start one, we yarn over and insert into the same chain one space and pull up a loop, and then pull through the first two loops on our hook. So we've got one finished and one started in this chain one space. And now we need to finish this one in the next chain one space. 
Okay, now chain one. So we finished a double crochet decrease in this chain one space and now we need to start one in the stitch, okay? So now we're gonna yarn over and complete it in the next stitch. We pulled up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, then pull through the remaining three loops on your hook. Chain one, yarn over and insert into the same chain one space and pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and insert into the next chain one space and pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and then pull through the remaining three loops. Chain one, yarn over and insert into the same chain one space, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over and insert into the next chain one space and pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and now pull through the remaining three loops on your hook. Okay, so now you're going to chain one and we're gonna start another one in the same chain one space. Pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over and insert it into the next chain one space, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and now pull through those three remaining loops. Chain one, and now we're going to yarn over and insert it into the same stitch, pull up a loop, pull through those first two loops, and now we're going to be finishing this double crochet decrease in this space right here, where my finger's poking through. So yarn over and insert it into that space, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and then pull through the remaining three loops. And now chain one, and then we're going to insert our hook into the top of the second chain. So we made three chains, but we're going to insert our hook um, for the next stitch that we're gonna make in the second stitch. So now we're just gonna double crochet in that second chain. So right there. All right, so that completes that row. So we started with our chain three and we turned and then we worked those decreased stitches and chains all the way across and we finished with the double crochet and the top of the chain two at the end of your previous row. Now, there were three chains, but the other chain counts as your chain one. So you're working into the, top, the um, second chain. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's do one more row together and then I think you'll definitely have it. So we're going to chain three and then we're gonna turn our work. We're gonna uh, yarn over and insert our hook into the first chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook and then pull through the next three loops on your hook and chain one. Then we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through those first two loops, loops which, I, which blah, 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 I'm trying to get tongue tied here, which I just did. And then yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook and then pull through the remaining three loops. Chain one. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop. Then pull through the first two loops on your hook, which I already did. Then yarn over and insert it into the next chain one space. Pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and the next three loops, okay? So now we're going to chain one, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the row. And once we get to the end, I'll walk you through how to end it again. Don't forget to chain one between your decreased stitches. I know that some people think I hold my yarn a little differently, and I probably do, but you just have to figure out what works for you and what's comfortable for your hands. I learned to crochet from YouTube videos, and I probably should have started with videos that showed me how to hold my yarn, but I didn't, and so I just kind of developed my own way. Okay, so I'm in, I have these last two chain one spaces. I've just finished this double crochet two together. So I need to start my next double crochet two together in the same chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the next, um, pull through the first two loops. Don't finish your stitch, yarn over and insert it into this space right here. Pull up a loop. I need a little more yarn to finish. I only planned on doing one row, but I thought I should do one more. Pull through the first two loops and then pull through the remaining three loops. And then chain one. 
And then you've got three chains here. One of them's covered by this stitch. So you're gonna work into the second chain right there, okay? And we're just double crocheting into that chain. And so that is how you're going to work those stitches and you're gonna keep doing that until you're completely finished with your blanket. And it really creates a nice stitch. It has good texture and it works up pretty quickly. So I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know and have a great day.